Hey, New Vision, I want to thank you for just uh, giving me a few minutes to talk about uh, this coronavirus and our ministry plan here uh, at the church. Uh, before I do that, I want to share a passage of scripture with you that's been an encouragement to me just in the last couple of days. Uh, David said this in Psalm 16, 8. He said, uh, I keep my eyes always on the Lord. With him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. You know, and that's what I'm trying to do in my life. I'd encourage you in the midst of all of this uh fear and some anxiety and words like pandemic that are thrown out that we would we would keep our eyes on the Lord and realize the strength that he has. And as we focus on him, there's just some some great purpose and power that we have in our life. So I want to encourage you in that. Uh, the second thing I, I would say to you, we have decided, and it's been a tough decision, we have decided not to gather for worship this weekend. And to be honest, it may be several weekends before we're able to do that. Uh, but we will be giving you more information about that. But for this weekend, uh, we're just going to have our online service. And so I will encourage you to take advantage of that online service, uh, 820, 940, or 11 o'clock. Uh, by the way, I was uh, here for our Thursday night service. Uh, Pastor Nick in Romans chapter 8 uh, preached an amazing message. There's just great worship. It is a really powerful, powerful service and super timely. It's just, uh, it could not be a better text for what we're going through. So I want to encourage you uh, to be involved in worshiping with us online on, on Sunday morning. Also, there's some ways to interact in that worship service. There is a, a tab for prayer requests. You can click on that and, and send us your prayer requests, and we'd love to follow, uh, follow up with you. There's also a Next Steps tab. If, if you would uh, like to email any of our staff, if there's any decisions uh, that you'd like to talk about, then we'll follow up with you through that Next Steps uh, tab. Also, as we think about giving, you know about 50% of folks here at the church are, are give online. And so that's something that Amy and I and our giving as a regular part of our worship, just giving uh, every week, we want to move for this season to, to give online. So there's a tab for you uh, to do that. You know, in, in the past, when we miss worship experience, we've done that through some snow days and whatnot. Um, and that affects us financially. There's no question about that. But uh, I don't have fear about that. God's been uh, super good to us. Uh, our staff has been faithful in, in, their, in their spending. But at the same time, the ministries here will go on, not just here, but the ministries that we're involved in around the world. So I hope you'll join uh, Amy and I and the rest of folks here just being consistent percentage and priority givers. And there's ways to do that through giving online or even bringing a, a gift uh, you're offering uh, by the church office throughout the week would be a way uh, to do that. You know, as we, as we think about these days and everybody's talking about the spread uh, of this virus. We have uh, chosen uh, not to gather this weekend because we feel like it, it might be in, in, in some small way uh, a way to uh, stop the spread of this virus or at least slow the spread of this virus. Now, I understand that people will disagree with us. I understand that other churches are meeting and I, I don't think it's a it's not a wrong decision. I'm not saying they're wrong and we're right. I'm not saying that at all. This is an exceedingly hard decision. I have been on the phone uh, all morning this morning talking to uh, pastors, city officials, and just trying to get uh, medical uh, professionals, trying to get uh, the best advice I could get. And it's just a tough decision. And so if we're going to err by canceling worship, we're going to really err on the side of just being overly cautious. And so that's why we're making this decision. And I hope that you'll pray for us for continued wisdom. I uh, hope you'll understand these are difficult times that we're all facing uh, in our country, and this is just uh, the best decision that we could really make with all the information that we have around us. And, and I believe this is temporary. Uh, I believe that uh, this may uh, disrupt our normal worship uh, schedule really for the next uh, couple weeks, but uh, I believe we'll see this thing see this thing through and it'll pass. So I hope you hope you understand that, can be patient uh, with us. And so as, as we close out, you know, as we think about the spread of this virus, let's think about another way. Let's think about how we can, as believers, spread hope to so many people that are seemingly hopeless right now. Let's think about how we can uh, spread compassion. There's going to be great opportunities for you and your family to uh, love on folks, check on uh, folks who may have a uh, compromised health, maybe a bit older and could be struggling. Let's check on them. There's great opportunities to provide encouragement in the midst of a time when people are, are really discouraged. But most of all, it's a great opportunity to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ because when there's fear and there's a lot of fear, uh, we know the, the antidote to fear is faith in Jesus Christ. And so we have a chance like perhaps we haven't had in a, in a while in our country uh, to share the good news of Jesus Christ with somebody. So I hope you'll do that this week. And 
please be praying for us as we're praying for you guys. And we look forward to having this behind us and be able to gather again and worship. God bless you guys.